go get my boxes ready. So how cold does it get in where these are going to travel to? Like negative 80 degrees. So, so this is the antenna. It's attached to this laptop. And on this laptop, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's um, a map. And they keep track of where the weather balloon travels through radio signal. It transmits a sound, and that sound relates to its position in space. Weather balloon, it's 80 bucks. Don't pop it. This is a model rocket parachute. It cost me about another $50, dollars. Um, but it's one of the big model rockets. This is uh, a knitting ring. If you've ever seen your grandmother knitting something, this is just a wooden knitting ring and a small slide of stuff. This is the communications payload. Um, a lot of stuff in here. That's about a hundred dollar two meter ham radio, about a hundred dollar combination uh, terminal mode controller and ham radio transmitter. This is a terminal uh, terminal mode controller, so that's again what transmits tra translates the position information into sound. Two GPSs, probably piece as well. Um, 15 batteries in total, so we've got a separate battery for each um, communication setup, plus there's three batteries inside the, the uh, ham radio. There's two antennas, one goes up the flight train, one goes down. They're both actually, uh, they're homemade, what they call J-poles, um, but it's, it's actually made out of the old twin lead TV antenna that you used to see on, the, on home TV antennas. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. Icon camera with a, a continuous, it has an interval timer, so once I hit the button, it'll take a picture every 30 seconds, and I've already started those cameras, and the car is big enough that it'll hold three hours worth of pictures every 30 seconds, and we take a picture of the And then the, the instrument that might be of interest to you guys is this is a, called a, a hobo a temperature and relative humidity data logger, and so it'll take the temperature inside of the capsule, and it'll also, this, this little so I will record it every 10 seconds. I have two computer fans here. used to suck it in so that all the whatever hash particles are here or the dash particles just suck it and then get it to the other kind of things and which directs these particles to a sensor. This is a sensitive photo transistor photo. So then it takes the particles and it records the changes in voltage. And then it is actually recorded.
up in the sky. Here. It isn't going as far as it's a big white thing. So it's only about 5,000 feet. And as, as you can see, it's right on top of us. Yeah, it's the hunting club's uh, property. Oh, it's going into the woods. Yep, it's into the woods. Maybe we should get in the car and drive over. Okay, we're still chasing this thing. We had to move the car slightly so we could track it better. Okay, there it is. The balloon is coming down right here. And it is coming down right in the woods. All right, there it comes through the trees. Can you reach it? How far up is it? Oh yeah. There are no branches on that. So there it is. Hanging in the tree. Are you gonna climb it? Oh uh, well, I wish I had sneaked. Are you good? Oh uh, yeah. Don't rely too much on it. It's up a little bit more, maybe like five more feet. Where that branch is sticking out, if you follow that branch up to the left, and then we'll trade it like this far out. Oh, yep. Watch your head, dude. Heads up, everybody. You might be able to let go and reach it. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Put the tree down carefully, carefully. You're awesome. Good job. You all right? Yeah. I never caught a trail like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, here are the boxes. You want me to crack it open? So I downloaded the data from APRS in a KML file, which I uploaded into Google Earth. And on my screen, you could see the path that it traveled in green. Um, and in the red on the bottom, you could see the elevation map. So it starts and it reaches its highest point at about 83,120 feet, according to this data. And it ends at about 51 miles from its start point. So the balloon traveled about 51 miles and it reached its highest point at over 83,000 feet.